say, I've got this little bad boy in the packet, in the mail today, and uh, it's from Amazon, it's a Makita Sight Radio, model BMR100, and this thing can be powered from the mains, or actually can be powered off your 3 amp hour or slotting cartridge batteries for, for Makita drills. So I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing today. Well, uh, there's the front part of the box. There's the side of it. The back end of it. So I think, judging by that, it's supposed to say that it's waterproof. That's the other thing about it. It's got, obviously, because I live in the UK. And then, um, <coughs> show you this first. Have a quick look at this. So obviously I live in the UK so that's alright and then that's what type of batteries it can be powered by so without no further ado we'll get this thing unboxed. Okie dokie so one thing I've got to mention it's got a nice carry case on top, uh, carry handle on top. Without no further ado, we'll see what's inside. This package came courtesy of Parcel Force. So we've got, oh hmm, dear, we've got an antenna, put that to one side. Got some batteries, I think that's for the clock. And who oh did you think this is the plug? And now, woo, fancy, nicely wrapped in cloth. Radio itself. I'll probably keep the uh, what's it called? This bag that it came in, and the manual. That's all right then. And uh, yeah, nicely packaged. Let's have a close up. So, yeah, this radio came in a um, fabric bag. It's kind of, I think it's the same stuff my shirt's made out of. So, we've got the radio itself, the antenna, probably the transformer. These two batteries are probably for the clock. And this is the manual. Yeah. There's a quick view of it. Okay, so this radio cost me about £80 off Amazon. And it came from Scotland, which is quite surprising. I was expecting it to come within two days because I got my drill from this company that dispatched this radio. I thought it would be quicker. Well, obviously not. Now have a look at that bad boy. Yeah, like I said, I'm keeping the bag. So, yeah. It's quite cool, actually. So let's have a look and see what we've got at the top. So you've got two carry handles at the front. you got... The on off, band, it's even got an alarm on it, not an alarm clock. The type of bands, scan, volume, and I think on your right hand side is your 240 input, on your left hand side is your headphone jack input. Let's have a look at the back. Now you're probably wondering where the speakers are on this unit. Well, they're one on each side. So we'll uh, open up the back and we'll see what's going on. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's probably your uh, input for your MP3, probably. Uh, there's a little metal bracket here. And my finger is moving up and down, probably to hold the batteries in place. 
I can use my NICH batteries in this as well. And that's for lithium ion NICH batteries. And in the bottom there is where those two AA batteries go. Okay, so I've just put the antenna on it. And just a quick one. That's how quickly they're putting the houses up from where the barn used to be. Sawtree houses are going up rather quickly and I think they're going to demolish the garage soon but they still have to remove the asbestos roof and the asbestos cladding before they can do demolition. And another thing. Anyway, sorry for moving off the thing there. I reckon this is power adapter. Oh, the screen's on. It's probably telling me that there's no battery. Oops. Yeah, this has got the transformer in it. So I can get it open. Hang on a minute. Well, my theory was correct. It was a transformer. So anyway, that's as far as I'm going to go because I can't show you any what it sounds like because of copyright reasons. I'm sorry, but that's the way it's going to have to be, I'm afraid. Thanks for watching.